Wow, did you see that? Professor Snape just came out of the Forbidden Corridor. He's limping quite badly. Come on, Harry. Let's take a look before Filch comes back. Hear that growling? Oh, I think there's something awful down the corridor. Better tell me on the run. We'll be late for our Defence Against Dark Arts lesson. I am your potions teacher, Professor Snape. Today, you will learn how to mix a Wigan Weld healing potion. You're late for potions, Mr. Potter. Inexcusable, even for celebrities. Five points from Gryffindor. Potter, go to the dungeons and fetch the potion ingredients for the class. Bring back Wigan Tree Bark, Moly, Dittany, and Flobberworm Mucus. Be quick about it, or I shall deduct house points from Gryffindor. Now be gone, and don't come back without the ingredients. Hmm, that must be Dittany. Late again, you lazy boy. A further three points from Gryffindor should teach you a lesson. I see you've collected a few challenge stars, but I'm afraid they have no value in my classroom. I've ended the lesson without you, Potter. The other students are off to the Halloween feast. Join them, if you must. Now pay attention. Today, you will attempt to learn the art of mixing one of the most useful potions ever concocted. The Wigan Weld Potion. Potter, you have just volunteered to show the rest of the class how this is done. Get up here immediately. A Wigan Weld Potion will restore some of your lost stamina. Even a single bottle is capable of healing the most grievous wounds. In this chest are the two ingredients of Wiganweld Potion. Flubberworm mucus and Wigan Tree Bark. Take them out. Now, walk up to the cauldron. Try not to t observe Mr. Potter adding the ingredients to the cauldron and mixing them. Careful, Potter. You don't want to lose house points. Mr. Potter now has a Wigan Weld potion. To drink the potion, press space bar. Back to your seat, Potter. Those of you who are adventurous, or more probably clumsy, will no doubt want to make Wigan Weld potions on your own. Therefore, there are cauldrons like this one throughout Hogwarts. They are the only cauldrons in which Wigan Weld potions can be made. And the ingredients, flubberworm mucus and Wigan tree bark, can also be found throughout Hogwarts. Now for today's lecture, the history of flubberworm mucus. Ah, Potter, I do believe expulsion is in order. Attention, please. Students, attention. 
The headmaster wants to address you. Silence. It isn't too late to lose house points, you know. This house cup ceremony brings the school year to an end. And an eventful year it was. Without further ado, I shall now present the cup to the Hogwarts house with the most points. Think we'll take it again this year? After you and Harry saved Hogwarts, I should think so. In fourth place, Ravenclaw. Thank you for not saying last place. In third place, Hufflepuff. Thank you. We find finishing in the middle to be quite adequate. And now for the second place house. It'll be you, Gryffindors. You're naturally second best. You won't steal the house cup from Slytherin like you did last year. After barely escaping disqualification, Slytherin... What? That means... First place, and the house cup goes to Gryffindor. Going somewhere, Potter? You should be in the Gryffindor common room, preparing for yet another year of academic underachievement. Professor Snape, I've brought you my essay on Moonstones. Indeed. Let us see if you can differentiate between Monkshood and Moonstone, shall we? I suppose this is acceptable. Follow me. But I must remind you, Potter, you will not be able to rely upon Miss Granger when you take your owl. Here to revise, Potter. Make sure you don't waste my time. Begin. Wingardium Leviosa! Leviosa! you have created today. Fast enough for an acceptable Mr. Potter. Well, Potter, I'm yet to be convinced that you can mix a potion to owl standard, but let us see if you have learnt anything. Begin. Wingardium Leviosa!
Wingardium Leviosa! Stop. Let's see what miserable mess you have created today. Such a result would earn you exceeds expectations. Remarkable, given your usual ability, Mr. Potter. A marginal improvement. Phineas, I need you to go to your portrait at Grimald Place. Tell them Arthur Weasley has been gravely injured. Professor, please! What's happening to me? You wished to see me, Headmaster? Yes, Sevens. I'm afraid we daren't wait, even until morning. Potter, come with me. Sir? Now, Potter. Uh. Folks will go to Molly. We've made sure that your father will be found by the right people. Why am I here? What? You are here to learn occlumency, the art of magical mind defense. There is a connection between the Dark Lord's mind and your own. You must learn to control this. You mean he can read my mind? Read it, control it, unhinge it. If he becomes aware of the connection, occlumency will help you shield yourself. I am about to attempt to break into your mind. Led Jilly Men's. your own wand to counter me. Try, Potter. For pity's sake, try. Concentrate, Potter. Focus. Feeling sentimental, I may vomit. Adequate, Potter. For a first attempt, it was not as poor as it might have been. Will I have to do many lessons, sir? Evidence suggests that you are sharing the Dark Lord's thoughts and emotions. It is inadvisable that such a connection should be allowed to continue. Now clear your mind. Let go of all emotions. You're late, Potter. Inside.
What just happened then, Potter? I've just realized. What's in the Department of Mysteries? What? I'd forgotten I'd seen it. When I've been there for the hearing, I've been dreaming about it. Voldemort's been thinking about it. What's there that he wants? There are many things in the Department of Mysteries, Potter. Few of which you would understand, and none of which concern you. Do I make myself plain? But... This lesson is over. Hi, Harry. Everyone's waiting for you in the Room of Requirement. Okay. I think the DA is going really well. Everyone's making such good progress. You're late again, Potter. Have you been practicing? Yes. Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? Wand out, Potter. Enough! Your lessons are at an end. I get out. Friend George want to see you. They're on the fifth floor. Are you all right, Harry? Yeah. Let's find Fred and George. Bear to it. Make the unbreakable vow. Will you, Severus Snape, swear to watch over Draco? Will you swear that if Draco fails, you will carry out the Dark Lord's orders? I will... As you know, each day, dark forces are attempting to penetrate this castle. For this reason, I have agreed that the Dueling Club will restart this year. Now, please What's join me in welcoming hand? Horace Slughorn, who will resume his old position of Potions Master. Meanwhile, the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher will be assumed by... Professor Snape. No! How can Dumbledore let him after all he's done? I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mischief managed. Wonderful! A nectar from the gods! A taste of sunshine and happiness! I knew you were the man for the job, my boy! Our guests are here! Stop there, Potter. I only wish to convey a message. Professor Dumbledore asked me to give you his best. You see, he's traveling and won't return until term resumes. Traveling? Where? Take your hands off me, you filthy squib! Oh no, Mr. Hills. What is all this fuss about? Okay, okay. I was gate crashing. Happy. I'll escort him out. Doing there. I don't have to tell you anything. You shouldn't push me around. I am trying to help you. You just want to steal my glory. Keep your voice down. Maybe I did hex that Katie Bell girl. Maybe I didn't. What's it to you? I swore to protect you. I made the unbreakable vow. I don't need protection. I was chosen. This is my moment. We've arrived. 
Have you ever considered that you ask too much? Has it ever crossed your brilliant mind that I don't want to do this anymore? I will not negotiate this with you, Severus. You agreed. There's nothing more to discuss. How would you have done things that would shock you? Like cursing Katie Bell? There are Death Eaters here! I mended the vanishing cabinet in the Room of Requirement to let them in. You didn't see that coming, did you? Expelliarmus! Well done, Draco. But I warn you, killing is not nearly as easy. Well now, look what we have here. Dumbledore, wantless and alone. Do it, Draco! He doesn't have the stomach. The Dark Lord was clear! The boys to do it! No! Severus, please. Avada Kedavra. Snape! Out of here, quickly. It's over. Time to go. Leave him. Potter belongs to the Dark Lord. Leave him. spells against me, Potter. Yet, I am the half blood prince. These are dark times. Our world has faced no greater threat than it does today. There have been disappearances, murders, but I say this. Your ministry remains strong. We will keep the people safe. I believe you know our guest, Miss Charity Burbage, lover of muggles and all their ways. <laughs> <laughs> Enough, Nagini. What news? The Order has learned that we have infiltrated the Ministry. They are moving him tonight. There have been too many mistakes where Harry Potter is concerned. Tonight, I will kill Harry Potter in person. Everybody ready? It has come to my attention that Harry Potter was sighted at Hogsmeade. We have employed defensive strategies to ensure that Harry Potter will never again step foot in Hogwarts. It would seem that you have a security problem, and I'm afraid it's rather extensive. Headmaster, <gasps> how dare you stand where Dumbledore stood? Tell them how you looked him in the eye and killed him. Tell them! <sighs> Think you're brave coming here, do you? Stupid is more like it. Stupefy! <laughs> Stupefy! Yeah. I think you need to be punished, Potter. Alexo, talk some sense into the boy. I don't know how much this happens. You will fall. Yeah. Be polite. 
Right, Harry. I'll handle Professor Snape. You are a coward, Severus. You always were. Stupefy! Oh, very good. It's easy to see where the boy learned his lack of discipline. We are here to educate, not dominate. A difference you seem unable to appreciate, Severus. You cannot win, Minerva. Do not try my patience, Severus. Potter always was trouble. Your headmaster has done a bank. Why doesn't it work for me? You have performed extraordinary magic with the Elder Wand, my lord. Tonight, when the boy comes, it will not fail you. It answers only to you. The Elder Wand belongs to the wizard who killed its last owner, Severus. You killed Dumbledore. While you live, the Elder Wand cannot truly be mine. My lord. Kill! But she's dead. Her son lives. If you truly loved Lily Potter, then you will protect him. It is not expected that the Malfoy boy will succeed in your murder. Should he fail, the Dark Lord will turn to you. You know this curse will take my life, but you must be the one to kill me. Only then will Voldemort trust you completely. 
There is something Harry must know when Voldemort is at his most vulnerable. When Lily Potter cast herself in front of Harry, the killing curse rebounded. A part of Voldemort's soul latched itself onto the only living thing it could find. Harry. So when the time comes, the boy must die. Yes, and Voldemort himself must do it. <laughs>